Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your boy AK and so here back with another gameplay commentary on my channel. Today we are here with the release of the Awakening DLC finally on PS4. First Xbox fans, I'm sorry for the first time in decades, or not a decade, probably a decade. You guys are gonna have to wait for your little DLC. Just like the rest of us, how we play Sansa fans had to deal with that a while ago. But regardless, uh, it is available right now for PlayStation 4 as we speak, and I just want to kind of give my thoughts on the DLC because I have had the experience of playing all four maps, and I feel as though I have a general understanding of the maps as well. Uh, I did recently get a nuclear on one of the maps, uh, I hopped off and just kind of did this commentary as quick as I could. But regardless, I just want to give you guys my thoughts on the maps and what I think of them so far. So first off, the gameplay you guys are watching is a 60 plus kill gameplay that I just recently got uh, on the map Skyjack. I'm going to call it Hijack, guys. It's just kind of my personal preference. And overall, the maps are really good. Uh, this was actually the very first time that I played Hijacked. Uh, so just kind of I thought it was really entertaining because it was this was I kid you not I woke up got on the maps and literally got, got thrown into this lobby I did join late so this is the first time I was happened to play this map uh, regardless the Vesper I, I know you guys don't like the Vesper I know a lot of people hate it me especially I hate it as well just dying by it is so annoying but this was actually like the first time I used the Vesper since I got it diamond so I'm not I'm not too big of a fan on the Vesper, but I figured let me use it one game and see what happens, and I managed to get this gameplay. I probably would have been 100 plus, but I choked off a couple streaks, and uh, it just was not working out. And I was actually using Combat Focus this game, because I'm trying to get the gold armor set for all of my characters now. I'm halfway through, pretty much. So, regardless, the maps are decent. I'm not going to say they're amazing, I'm not going to say they're horrible, but they're decent. Skyjack is probably my favorite map for obvious reasons because I'm familiar with the map and I know how to navigate it just like I did in Black Ops 2. But uh, Rise, I'm actually not a fan of. It's good for ground war and it's great for sniping clicks because there are certain parts of the map where you can actually just dome people easily, get collats, and it's, it's really easy to get collats on that map. But uh, for like Red Gun, which is what I do a lot, it's just it's not that great in my opinion. Uh, it just does not seem to work out in my favor very well. Uh, the other map, I believe it's called Gauntlet, is pretty decent. I just don't like the fact that there's so many lanes to get flanked from. Like, I was I was running on the right-hand side alley, and you guys will see that in a later later gameplay. The right-hand side alley, when you're on CDP spawn, is just there's so many flank routes. I kid you not. I, I actually went over there to count how many, and there was five different flank routes for just a small portion of the map. That's way too many in my opinion. I feel as though I shouldn't have to worry about all those lanes because of the fact that you're not gonna have you're not gonna throw five teammates in one section of the map. It's just not gonna happen. But overall, I think that that map could have been a little bit better if they just took away all the flanking routes. Because I'm sort of used to the whole H layout. If you know previous Call of Duties always have two lanes on each side and then one middle lane uh, that everybody goes to, and one little cutoff lane where you can flank through that lane. That is not the case with these maps. There's just there's there's so many flanking routes on this map, and I'm just not really a huge fan of it. Uh, I can't remember the other map. What's the other map called? Uh, no, it's not Skyjacked. Uh, the other, the last map, I forgot the name of it. Oh, Splash. That's what it's called. Splash is really good. Very vibrant colors, but they need to fix the spawns on that map. There were times where I was playing with a couple friends of mine, and we had the A and B flag. And there was literally nobody inside a C flag. I kid you not, there's nobody on C. So you would think that they're supposed to spawn there. For some odd reason, they felt the need to spawn them on the left-hand side inside of A flag and screwed me of a nuclear on that map. It's just, it, it's so random in my opinion. They, they really need to fix the spawns on that map because it just does not, the, it, there's no spawn logic whatsoever. They spawn wherever they feel they need to spawn them and there's no spawn logic whatsoever. So that map, it's really good. They did recently fix the ex exploits on it, so I'm glad that they did fix that. Uh, I haven't really gotten too much of that map in rotation. I tend to get hijacked a lot more for obvious reasons. People really like that map. But I feel as though the maps in general are really good. I have yet to play the zombies map. I'm going to try to get a squad to play with me on the maps for the, the, the zombie map. Because you guys know I don't really play zombies that much. But uh, I'll probably hit a Fredo or something like that. But regardless, uh, out of 10... out of uh, a rating system out of 10, I think that the maps, I'd probably rate them about a 7, maybe a 6. Uh, if you're holding off on the DLC and you're not sure if it's going to be worth your time, I'd say hold off and just kind of wait for like a discount or something because it's going to happen. 
They're probably also going to have like free DLC weekends because that's going to be something to expect in the near future. The fact that they're doing DLCs a little bit differently this time around. I'll talk about it, talk about that in another video, but regardless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Final score was like 60 kills and like 9 deaths, something like that. I think it was like 69 or 68, something like that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's your boy, like an AK, signing out. Peace!